Good morning guys and welcome back to the vlog. It's not actually morning. It's nowhere near morning. Getting a slow start to the day. That's okay. Again, apologies in advance for the audio quality here. I'm still on the Olympus camera, although I will not be for much longer. I can't do it. I actually already filmed this. I, it was six or seven minutes long or something of me sitting here blathering. I know, I should stop. <laughs> but because I made a change in the camera, I was testing out some new things. Apparently, it does not like to do video in anything but auto mode. Anything else and it goes completely wonky. There's some weirdness in the software, there was glitchiness in the video. I'll tr maybe overlay a little bit of just the, the video, no audio, so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here. So all in all, this is not a camera I would recommend. If you're just going to be using it in full on auto mode or just taking photos with it, it's probably great. For 280 bucks though, there's better options out there. I know a couple of you guys in the comments, George specifically mentioned that the audio didn't sound as bad as I was making it sound. The sound quality is not that bad. It's the background hiss and the ticking from the autofocusing that I really had a problem with and also the autofocusing. As Kyle was pointing out, there were several points where it lost focus and just completely forgot how to focus for a long time there. It's actually got a face tracking mode on right now, which is keeping track of me pretty well, but if it loses the focus, it takes like 10 to 15 seconds to get it back. A couple of you guys in the comments were talking about how I need to pick up another Vixia Mini X. I was actually on the way out of using the Vixia Mini X, just to be entirely honest there, because of the fisheye lens. I liked how wide angle it is. I like, you know, right now I'm holding this at not even arm's length. I've got it at like half arm's length, and it's a very comfortable wideness. I can take it out much, much farther if I want to. This is arm's length, and I can get, you know, a lot more in. Whereas with the Vixie Mini X, at this angle, you could probably see down to my waist or more. So it's kind of a good thing, kind of a bad thing. Now, in terms of looking at other alternatives, again, I could go with another Vixie Mini X, but I've already made a video about that, and I've been using it for a long time. I know it's a great camera. There's just some limitations that I would like to move beyond. I would love to have an actual zoom lens again, like I have with this camera, except this camera has so many bad limitations with it as well. So in terms of other options, the most obvious option is just to go with the Canon G7X or G7X Mark II. The G7X you can get refurbished from Canon for $499. That's probably the best option and it can do 1080p 60 video. Roman Atwood is still using, I think, the original G7X. A lot of big channels are still using the G7X or the Mark II. Great camera. But still, you're paying five to seven hundred dollars for that camera. I was trying to sort of weasel my way around it and see if I could get a good vlogging camera, or at least a halfway decent vlogging camera, for under three hundred dollars. Yes, I can probably afford to go higher than that, but still, I wanted to try to find something a little more budget friendly. So the other thing that I was kind of thinking about, I've seen this video from iJustine a bunch of times where she compares several of the Canon PowerShot N-series cameras. Uh, that's their new next generation concept device cameras. The first one they came out with was a little square. They called it the PowerShot N. It didn't have a fully flip up screen. It flipped up halfway and then stopped. That was kind of derpy. Then they had the N2, which has the full flip up screen, which is great, except it's a, it's a 28 millimeter lens and it's not terribly fast aperture. So it's like F3 point something, 3.0 maybe. Of course, this is F3.5 lens, so I can't really say that much about it. And that would be a little teeny tiny and very pocketable and very nice, but it only does 1080p 30. They also have the PowerShot N100, which is a little bit bigger, but it has the full flip screen. It can actually do picture in picture because it has a rear facing camera on it as well. Kind of a cool idea, but again, it's only 1080p 30. It does have a, wa a faster aperture. It's like a 24 millimeter wide lens with f1.8, I think. I'll have to double check that. But the, the thing about it, the reason I'm mentioning it over on Canon site, it's 250 bucks right now. Regular retail on it is like 350 or 400, so they've dropped the price a lot, meaning they're probably getting ready to completely cut it out and never make it again. So it would be kind of nice to go with another Canon camera. I've also been looking at just other Canon options, but the majority of them don't have the flip screen that I kind of like to have. I don't know, I'm spending entirely too much time talking about cameras again. It's the funny thing, I've spent the majority of the time of this, you know, almost year of vlogging I've been doing, talking about the cameras that I use for the vlogging. Ha! <sighs> but anyway, in terms of the day, I, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. I've spent entirely too much time this morning doing day job stuff and, and failing. Basically, this app that I've been working on for a year and a half now, there was some changes made to the networking side of things, and now what I was doing on the back end no longer works. It was pulling all of our firewalls and pulling in a list of stuff. Those things are no longer on there. The networking people made some changes, knowing full well that I have an app that pulls their stuff. They didn't tell me they'd made these changes, so it kind of stinks from my point of view. But I can't really do or say anything about it other than just please let me know when there are changes made, and let me know what I need to do to fix my app. 
Until that time, it's completely dead in the water, which is just awesome. And other than that, like I said, I'm just gonna try to dig into the rest of the, the pile that's no longer a pile to see what else I can make videos about. But you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and stop right there. I'm gonna get back to the rest of the day and try to figure out some stuff that I can get done before I have to go get Ellis. Okay guys, that decision has been made. I went impulsive, I probably did something very stupid, but a decision has been made. Uh, I've been sitting here trying to get some work done, trying to stay focused, but this, this thing that you're inside of has been distracting me. And because it's Amazon Prime Day, I was on Amazon browsing around, as you do, and I was in the camera section, and I saw there was a 15 to 20% discount on open box cameras. So while I was in there looking around, wait a minute, this one camera I've been looking at was in there, in the open box. Now, if you don't realize that, the open box is not new. These are items that have been used before and returned for whatever reason, but I went ahead and looked at them anyway, and this one that I looked at, it was actually a bundle. It comes with a memory card, a spare battery, a carrying case, a bunch of other stuff, and it's a little bit bigger, and it doesn't have the flip screen, which is gonna bug me a lot, but I think we'll be able to be okay. Because what I decided on is the Panasonic Lumix LX100. I've watched a ton of videos on it. I've been looking at it anyway. The biggest thing that's been holding me back about it is the flip screen, but I just went ahead and flipped the screen down. And on this, I'm even okay, I'm semi-okay, knowing where to hold it to have a pretty decent framing setup. So as long as I can do the same thing with the LX100, I should be okay. Now the downside to this is, as I mentioned, this is an open box item. This is from Amazon Warehouse Deals. And if you've seen vlogs for a very, very long time, right near the beginning, I ordered the Sony RX100 Mark III from Amazon Warehouse Deals, and it was damaged. And so I ordered a second one, and they sent me the wrong thing. I returned both of those, obviously. I got my money back. It's not a big deal. It's just a loss of time, which really, really sucks. So here's hoping that this bundle that I've ordered is going to be correct, that it's going to have the right things in it, that it's going to not be damaged. What it said in there was that it was going to be missing the manuals, it's going to be missing CDs, it's going to be missing the USB cable. I don't need or use any of those things, so I'm okay with that. As long as it has the, the camera itself, the battery, the charger, and the extra things it's supposed to come with, it was like $550, so it was a little bit more than a refurbished Canon G7X would have been, but it's going to have incrementally better video quality. It was a little, quite a bit less than the G7X Mark II was going to be, and again, much, much better video quality, just lacking that flip-up screen. I think we can be okay with that. I keep saying that, and I keep trying to convince myself of that. I'd be using the RX100 right now if it had better audio and a wider lens. The LX100 comes with, it's gonna be difficult and confusing there. If the LX100, it comes with a 24 millimeter lens, so I should be able to hold it at arm's length and be okay. It is gonna be heavier and bigger, so carrying it around is gonna be difficult, but it comes with a carrying case, so potentially I can put that on my belt. I don't wear a belt. I'll figure something out, I'm sure. We'll start wearing a fanny pack, <laughs> or I can start carrying my man bag everywhere I go. We'll figure it out. But anyway, I just sort of wanted to go ahead and throw that out there, and now I've got to go and get Ellis. Hey, we're all home, and Ellis is in his little jumper, and Mommy's here. Hey, a box showed up. There's a box. So tell me about the box. This is a home chef box. Not a sponsor, but if they want to be a sponsor, they can be a sponsor. Yes. I think she wouldn't mind. So, Home Chef is a service where you go online and pick meals that you want. Every week the menu changes and they send you all the ingredients it takes to make these meals. We're going to try it out and see how we like it. Let's so this see. is our first week. How much does the service cost? How much am I losing on this? The normal price for three meals a week is $60 a week. Three meals for two people. For two people. There you go. Um, which is comparable to other, there are other websites that do this. HelloFresh, the one's called Blue Apron. There's other ones that do this. It's about the same price as those. Yeah. So we thought we'd give it a shot. And so this And you is, had a coupon, right? Yeah. And this is, these are the three meals that we, we have this week. So this expect week. to see these featured. So we got steak. Coffee rubbed steak. With brown butter mashed potatoes. We. Barbecue turkey burger, burger with sweet potato cottage fries. Sweet cottage fries? Mm -hmm. Okay. And fettuccine alfredo. All right. And salad. So those are things. And every week the, the menu changes. Yes. So every week it could be something different. It will be something different. Really. But it's all just, they ship you a box full of fresh ingredients that are all locally sourced and mm -hmm. fresh and healthy and... Yep. And it's cold 
on the inside. So, so it's like a freezer box. Yeah, there's a freezer box. These are there's freezer packs in there. Cool. So, are those reusable freezer packs? Potentially. I don't know. Hmm. Let's take those out though, so I can get to the food. They're not terribly frozen. Yeah. But the food is still cold on the inside. Yeah. So there's one meal. So there's everything to make the barbecue turkey burgers. Cool. All I see sweet baby rays. Yep, barbecue sauce. I'm a fan. There's and the buns look like to good. make the fettuccine alfredo. Hmm. I see green stuff in there too. And there's a salad that goes with that. Uh, no, I think it's just mold. Okay. And here is everything but the steak to make the steak. Because the steak. Steak is in this. It's farther down. Yeah, farther down. Cool. That's everything else. And actually, does it have full potatoes that you have to cut up? Yeah. Sweet potatoes? Oh, these are regular potatoes. They're sweet. This is the sweet potato. Oh, that was the sweet potato. Those oh, that's, regular. yeah. Sweet potatoes. Those are definitely so. cool. Neat. So we're going to make these three meals this week and see. Well, I, oh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to make these three meals this week and we see I, how long. I don't cook. No, he does not. At all. Not even grill. And it could be a first step toward doing those kinds of videos on her own if that's something that she's interested in. She's expressed an interest in doing cooking style videos. And I've seen a lot of people making videos about these uh, the fresh prepare, make your own foods, but somebody else gets all the food ready for you kind of boxes. Oh, these are the meat. There's, there's the turkey and there's the steak. So they kept it all separate in the colder part of the box. Yeah. Anyway, food's incoming. And now we sweeten the potato. I showed him how to grab a hold of that little bug and pull on it and then it would vibrate. Now he's trying to do it. He really wants to play with it. That thing's super fun, Ellis. Potatoes are potatoing. Tablespoon of olive oil. Drizzle it on the potatoes. A little bit of salt and a little bit of black pepper. Doing some oniony things. So you have onioned all the onions. Mm -hmm. Mix up a bunch of stuff into the turkey so it looks kind of gross. Burgers are about to cook. But Ellis has decided that he is super hungry. Searing the burgers, flipping the potatoes. Mm -hmm. Uh oh, we're going all fancy and professional now. No. I just don't want oil all over me. You're gonna get hot. I am. Ellis oh. is excited about it. Do you think you're gonna get a burger there, dude? I think he wants one. I missed the step. What are you oh. doing, you? Caramelizing, sauteing the onions? Caramelizing the onions. Weird. They're very oniony. Did you put anything in them? Olive oil and salt. Okay. I saw a color in there. Mm -hmm. It's the pan from the burgers is what it said to use. Ah. I got distracted so I missed more steps, but onions are cooking covered. Those have been brought out. Onion buns are being toasted on the... Okay. On the rack. <laughs> oh, there you go. And Ellis decided he wasn't ready to eat. He just really wanted to be in here and he wanted to talk to everybody. And once everything's done, you just assemble it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't quite look like what was on the picture, but it looks good. Got lots of onions and big old burgers and cheese. Barbecue sauce. Ta-da! And it is a food. Good job! Thank you. I did it. All right, burger try. You heathen, you eat your burger upside down. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah, it's actually really good. And she doesn't like turkey burger. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yay! It's a big bite. Yeah. That was quite tasty. I'm pleased. He's still going at it. It's falling apart. It's falling apart. Good stuff. Wow, it's really dark in here. Uh, Kyle was asking what the video from this looks like in low lighting. The shutter speed actually looks to be keeping up pretty well, but it's just so very dark. So I'm going to take it into the kitchen or my office or something. So yeah, the rest of the evening was fairly uneventful. I hate to say it. Christina took off for Walmart for a little while. She had to pick up a few things. There's some sort of a baby shower she's going to later this week. So she had to pick up that. And then all the school supplies for Duncan. Again, fairly uneventful stuff. So I stayed here and took care of the kids. Played a little Pokemon Go here and there. Got them all to bed. Just got Ellis to bed just a minute ago. Hopefully he sleeps through the night. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and wrap this up and head to bed myself. So as always, Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for spending the day with me and the family and listening to me blather about cameras. Hopefully we will get this entire camera situation resolved this Friday. Get some good testing of the LX100 over the weekend. Just hopefully it shows up before we leave. By the way, we're going out of town this weekend. We'll talk about that more later. And again, we're going to go and see you tomorrow. Bye guys.